Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. Thank you for joining me today. As you can see, I have some different stuff up here and everything wants to fall down and that is fine too. But um, let me congratulate the lucky winner. So y'all know I have two groups on Facebook. Actually, both of them are on pause right now. And they're on pause to give the people who are in these groups the opportunity. And I'm saying it like this, the opportunity to pour back into me. It's an opportunity, meaning it is not anything that you have to do, but it is appreciated when you decide to do it. So I'm giving them the opportunity to be able to pour back into me. In the meantime, I'm still giving. Okay, so in my wife group, um, at the end of the year, I said, submit a one, uh, submit a paragraph saying why you and your husband deserve a date night. And I had a cup, I had a bunch of submissions, okay, a bunch, and a lot of them were really, really good. But there was this one couple. Not only have they been through it all, but they also chose to get into counseling. And they also chose to wake up every day and choose each other, which is what I am all about. So if you've been following me, then you know that that is what I'm all about. Waking up every day and choosing each other, understanding the responsibility when it comes down to marriage, understanding your obligation as a wife. And in my opinion, this couple understood what it was that they are supposed to be doing. So they won this basket from the PPG store, as you can see. It is full of all kind of goodies. They won two front row, um, two two front row seat tickets to the Silly Rabbit Comedy Club, which is a new comedy club that has opened up here in the great city of Baton Rouge. And they won dinner uh, for two at Outback Steakhouse. So they also have, and that's what this is. They also have a gift certificate. Well, I went online and did it or whatever, so I had to print it out. But they want a gift certificate to Outback Steakhouse as well. So, this couple won it for the month of January. I really think that I'm going to keep this going. Um, if you're not in the wife group, I highly recommend that you join. Um, wife school starts January the 30th. It is going to be a one-day class. What I realized was it was kind of hard for me to break it down into... Um, three weeks for two hours. So I said, well, let me do one day for six hours. What I understand is every wife don't have that type of time to commit to something weekly. So I said, well, give me one Sunday, six hours, and we're going to get the work done. So if you have not registered for wife school, you still have time to register for wife school. So I'm going to remove this because this has already been, this is already spoken for, okay? This is already spoken for. Um, I get on here every day and I do these lives and I'm going to say every day, I try to be real consistent with it, um, to be able to give knowledge, information, answer questions. And I only close my group down two times out the year. I close it down for my birthday and I close it down at the beginning of the year. I wait until January because I know in December you have your kids and stuff. So I don't ask for a Christmas gift in December, but I do ask for a donation in January. So as you can see, the cash app is at the bottom, dollar sign PPG store. If you tune in to me on YouTube, go ahead and send a donation. What am I doing with the donation? Well, there's this conference called the Boss Conference, and I really want to attend that conference. Um, so the proceeds will be going to me um, actually paying to go to that conference. And then there's a group um, on Facebook, because I'm on Facebook a lot, and it's called Black CEO. Well, Black CEO is offering advertisement opportunities. When you're in my line of work, it's really hard to get advertisement opportunities. So I want to purchase a VIP posting pass um, for, a, for the year, and it's like $250. But if you know anything about business, marketing, and promotion, then you know $250 is nothing to pay for um advertisement especially for a vip pass that's gonna last you a whole year so if you want to send a whole 250 to help ain't our baby go ahead and bless ain't with the whole 250 now we're gonna get into this live okay if you on my um instagram then you saw yesterday that i was really um 
I was really just trying to encourage wives and letting them know how we was going to be doing all 2022. And I had a lady and she got on there and she she was very polite. And she said, you could do all of that and they still ain't going to be shit. You could do all of that and they going to still be dirty to you. You could do all of that and they still going to cheat. And ma'am, you are absolutely right when you're dealing with boys. You are right. See, I'm talking about the women who are catering to men. See, men have an understanding about what it is that they building with somebody. So they're not really trying to mess all of that up that they're trying to build with somebody for a little quick fling, okay? Um, And I had to, like, really let it be known because, you know, a lot of y'all know that uh, last year I left my house for a month and I ended up going back to my house. But what I had to let them know was my husband has always been a really good person to me, you know. So I had to kind of lay it out and let her understand why it is that I do what I do for the man that I'm with, okay. One, I was just thinking. I said when I wanted to sell um, offensive t-shirts, a lot of people won't print offensive t-shirts. They just won't. So my husband learned how to make shirts. And, you know, got a whole machine and everything to be able to make shirts for me. This was not for him to make shirts for the public. This was for him to be able to make shirts for me, for me to be able to sell to the public. I wanted shirts to say stuff like, eat that dick up. I wanted shirts to say stuff like, my pussy talks. I wanted shirts to say, you know, uh, regular dick just won't do. Though That's the type of stuff that I wanted to be able to sell, but I could not find anybody that would print those type of things on shirts. Gap, good ass pussy. Stuff like this. So my husband taught himself how to make shirts. I was hosting um, a ladies night here at the store. If you hosting a lady night, ladies night and you charge a $5 to get in, you can only get about 50 people up in here, right? You don't have $200 to pay for a DJ too. But we all know DJs keep the party started. Like they, they get the party started. They keep the party going. That's what DJs do. My husband taught himself how to DJ. Bought all the, went to the music store, bought all the DJ equipment and taught himself how to DJ. And he became my DJ. When I needed flyers and uh, promotional material and all of this kind of stuff, guess what? He taught himself how to make flyers. Went to Photoshop from scratch and taught himself how to operate Photoshop. From that, I needed uh, photo shoots and all kind of stuff like that. Photographers charging between two and three hundred. Good photographers charging every bit about two, three hundred dollars per photo shoot. He became my personal photographer, and then he started being a f photographer for the public. Right. Um. What else did I list on there? Because it was a few different things, but I'm gonna tell you because I, I really, I really want to share this because the thing is, I want you to understand that some of us really have men in our lives who have an interest in seeing us grow on an emotional level with them, but they just want to see us win. And that means that they're willing to step up and do the things that that's needed for us to win. And when you have people like that in your life, then you shouldn't have an issue with catering. They say, how many times a week you cook? I cook about four to five times a week. Definitely four times a week. And guess what? Sometimes we have leftovers, but most times we don't. But it doesn't bother me to do these things. I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, I need a promotion of videos done. My husband learned how to do videos and became my videographer. Um, wife school. We needed brochures and we needed booklets for wife school. He created my booklet, did the photo shoot for me, created the booklet from scratch, sent it off. When he gave me the box, they was already printed. The, the, the booklets for wife school. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is... It's okay to be good to your man. It's okay to love him out loud publicly, you know, to, to show um, that you support him. And, and, and you're not a pick me because you decide to do that. And I just want to put that out there. So, the first of the Valentine's Day baskets have been completed. These are the little small baskets. They will contain... The hot love game. Now, the hot love game got one, two, three, four, five different options. A sex option, a fetish option, a wild option, foreplay option, and a chance option. No, that, I'm sorry. Not a chance. It's cut off. A romance option. Okay, because I'm looking at the back of it and the cards stacked on top of each other. So, we got sex, fetish, 
wild foreplay and romance all in this here okay now this basket is 35 dollars okay so we have this game in it we have dickalicious in it if you know anything about dickalicious not only does it taste good to you ladies but it is an arousal gel for them so that means you get the tingling and feeling all good on them but it tastes good to you we have edible massage oil so not only is a massage oil, but it's edible okay we have the Love Me lottery tickets, and it's different things like um, share fantasies and that. It's scratch offs. So the thing is, this is gonna go beyond Valentine's Day. First of all, Valentine's Day fall on a Monday this year. Okay, me being in business as long as I've been in business, what I know is y'all gonna start celebrating the Friday before. So y'all gonna celebrate Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Some of y'all gonna still be going at it on Monday. Some of y'all gonna be recuperating and shaking back on monday but this is enough just this in itself is enough to last you the whole weekend then we have these rose petals and you say well what the rose petals are the rose petals is a game in itself just with the rose petals and it give you all kind of sexy suggestions to be able to do with the rose petals decorating your body in the rose petals like all kind of stuff with the rose petals but all of this that you see is all in this little basket okay and these are already made and available. I came in yesterday and I made these here at the store. So this is available. Now, this, everything with the basket. Now, we got some new stuff, honey dust. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I was a little girl growing up, my grandmother used to have this powder, okay? And her powder used to have this little duster thing that came with it. Now, I'm going to open this up. Because I want you to see this little duster thing. So the powder is in here, right? And you take and you got the little dust and you take it and you putting the little duster because you know, this how I know, you know, grandmothers were still getting it on because they still had all their little sexy stuff in the bathroom. I don't know about y'all, but my grandmother had the little powder thing with the little duster thing all over it. I think they used to sell it at Avon or something like that, but the powder used to smell really good like a perfume and type of powder. Well, this here is honey dust. This is kissable powder. Meaning that you get out the tub, you dry yourself off good because we don't want the powder to cake up on you. Dry yourself off good. Make sure that you're completely dry. And you're going to take that little dust and you're going to dust it on your body. All around your breast, all around everything. And it's going to look like regular little powder on you. But the thing is, when you get ready to feed them titties to him, they're going to taste so good. These are gonna, This is going to taste like strawberries, okay? Now, if you want to sample it and taste it, you could come to the PPG store and we could put you a little bit on there. So you can taste this real good. Oh yeah, this is real good. He he liable to start chewing on them damn titties. <laughs> so we are fully stocked with honey dust. This is one of our newer items this year that we're going to be promoting for Valentine's Day. Of course, we still have the massage candles. We still have um shit some of everything like the the coupon books, the vouchers. But I really wanted to talk about some of the new stuff that we got. All right. The last thing, if you are on my Instagram, I need you to go answer the question for today. When men are in the tub, do they dig sink or do it float? That is the question. I need to know because I'm getting all kind of answers. I'm getting men saying that the, the that it sink because the dick hit. Then I'm getting men that say it float because they ready to put it up in something. Like, I'm getting all kind of answers. So, I need y'all to go answer the question. When the, when the men is sitting in the tub, do the dick sink or do it float? Okay? Y'all go ahead and hit my cash app up. I don't beg too often. But today, I am passing a collection plate. Once we get both of these things done, the boss conference and the VIP pass, the group will be unlocked and I will start back answering your questions again because right now I'm not even answering no questions in the inbox. The questions are piling up in the inbox because they waiting. They waiting on the group to open back up. And I'm like, go ahead and send your, I'm passing a collection plate, send your donation. Help out. Put your little $2 up in there. Put it up in there so we can go ahead and get the group back open because I have some teaching to do. And the first thing that we're going to be talking about in January is getting up out of these three positions which is missionary, dog style, and riding. We about to get, I call them the top three. 
I'm ready to start teaching. Y'all ready to start learning? Go ahead and do what you got to do to get the group unlocked. Dollar sign PPG store. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Make sure y'all stay warm because it is cold out there.